Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to turn an image into an actual object in Blender. This is probably the easiest way of doing it and you can use images that you've even captured yourself. So let's get into it. So pretty much I'm going to be showing you how to make an object and put an image texture onto it and it can just make it look so good. You'll see what I mean. So I'm going to be doing a box, just a cardboard box, like a packaging box, this. And I'm going to UV project these sides and then change the roughness here so if we delete everything and add a cube or the object that you want if you're doing like a water bottle you want to do a cylinder and then drag this up go to shade editor add an image just do box and make a second one if you're having different roughness then i'm going to add the texture so i'm going to drag the image over color into base color and here we go then if you click a go into the faces mode click u and cube project you can see we've got this so now you can drag over in this little gray area over go into here and uv editor if we now zoom out we can click on one of these sides that we want so it's from this angle we're going to be doing the box from so we can do this angle and what we're going to be doing is putting each one of these points here on each point there you'll see what i mean when we get further into it, it kind of just I'm probably explaining it terribly, but so these points will be the one side of the box. So if I just put these here, you can see what I mean by that being there. And then this face, if we click on that, this will be this side. And I'm doing this very rough. You can do it a lot more precise if you zoom in properly and get the right corners and stuff. But make sure not to go too far over because you'll start getting white on it. And I will just do this to each side of the box. If it's something of a pattern, it might not look right if it's too repetitive. So you just want to make sure it looks right. Like this, it's not too repetitive. It's just a simple cardboard texture. You can also do this with images in real life. So if you're trying to remake something from your house, for example, you just take a screenshot of it, do the same thing. If it has more than one edge, just take one from each, add the images in and... You can just do the same thing I'm doing here. Now we're going to do the top. So for this, it's the exact same thing. We just put all these points on each of the edges. So you see here. And if it looks like this, you can drag it and make it look different. So if you maybe want that up there, you can drag these across. I'm not doing a great example right now here like this. And you can click these if you don't want to see it, so it's then easier to see like that. And like I was talking about, you can see here with the white lines, and that's just because it might be here. Yep. Now I'm going to loop cut it for these different things here, and I'm just going to save it quickly. And yeah, I'm going to loop cut it here, and then I'm going to go to options, correct face attributes, and then I'm going to line these up. Just like that and i'll be doing it from this angle so you want to make sure this face has got that and it has and for this i'm just going to make a new texture and get the box then i'm going to click this and this makes a new material with that existing material and with this then i'm just going to turn the roughness down And make sure to assign that and i've just turned it to cycles i'm going to turn the roughness up just a bit because you it's not very shiny but it's kind of medium and then up to this box i'm just going to turn the roughness up probably not all the way to about there and just for a bit of detail i'm going to add a bump and add a noise connect fac into height and normal into normal and you can see this is very very harsh so i'm gonna first probably actually leave the scale but i'm just gonna turn this down as you can see here to like 0 0.1 i'll probably do and you can see a very easy box if you want you can even select all of it and just Control b and do the small little bevel like a real box would have and another thing what you can do is just loop cut everything a bit and then drag the different points down so if you click one so you're on vertices and then click this and this is proportional editing 
so you can drag it down you can see or if you make it bigger it will drag more of the box down and you can make it not look as perfect as you can see here and i probably didn't even line this up right that's why it's looking like this but if we're getting it from this angle it does look pretty good you can also do this noise to the actual box as well but i'm not going to do that but yeah that's a simple way of making an image into an actual object in blender there are ways to make it a lot more precise and that will be using f spy but this is just a very very quick way of doing it but anyways if you enjoyed remember to subscribe like and i will see you in the next one